And this is unfortunately the most uh, support, attention, and attraction that she's been able to gather down, gather in at one time. It is hard to fight your case from inside. The system is not incentivized to let people out. So it's, it's literally uh, an uphill battle to just get the amount of attention that she's gotten this far. Mm. 14 years. 14 years. So just to put that in perspective. <laughs> you know, the, the, yeah, the average person who, who gets exonerated, uh, at least the black person who gets exonerated, I think they're at like 16 years on average. Uh, you can double check me on that. But everybody, all the exonerees, they wait like over a decade before they get exonerated. That means that's 10 years of your life fighting a case from prison, you know, with all, without your appeals. Your appeals have been uh, squashed and you, you're, you know, you're lucky. But that's been the case for a lot of my friends in Michigan who have been exonerated. Take Larry Darnell Smith, who's uh, another advocate of Tamara Washington. 26 years. You know, I hope it doesn't become 26 years for Tamara Washington.